What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And uh, yeah, my social media has been blowing up like crazy. Last night, we didn't check out Monday Night Raw. We wanted to, you know, take a break for Memorial uh, Day weekend since it is a holiday. We try to, you know, take some breaks on actual holidays, you know, spend time with our family and just kind of decompress and try to relax as much as we possibly can. So we didn't stream Monday Night Raw, but boy, oh boy, it seemed like we missed some, some interesting stuff. And my DMs, my mentions on all my social media platforms were going crazy. My boy Dominic, he is living a lifestyle that I know for a fact most of you if not all of you wish you could live not only was he able to get up on Rhea Ripley as y'all call her mommy but now he was given some tender love and care by the way of a kiss from Liv Morgan Rhea Ripley's ops and technically my boy is married Dom's the real winner out of all of this. We can for sure say that. So we got to talk about how all this played out. This is, oh man, this is just, things are cooking up with this Liv Morgan situation. So during the show, Liv is giving an interview talking about what happened at um, King and Queen of the Ring and how she really didn't know why Dominic was out there. She took advantage of the situation. She didn't know why Dominic was out there. So that's why she agreed um, to have a steel cage match for the Women's World Championship. So she was going to have a steel cage match against Becky Lynch to obviously keep outside interference. But you kind of know anytime wrestling, uh, ha you know, a wrestling promotion or a, a brand promotes a steel cage match to keep other people out somehow some way people get involved even though they're not supposed to be able to and we knew this was going to happen so she said you know what technically i didn't beat her one-on-one -on -one, so tonight i'm going to get the job done and beat her one-on-one -on -one with no help right so we get to the match end of the show um the match was what it was i i you know it wasn't anything to go home about i feel like their the match they had at uh king and queen in the ring was better but that's neither here nor there i obviously the story involving what's going on in this match is probably what people are talking about so getting close towards the end of the match both ladies are knocked down um becky lynch ends up getting up and that's when you see dominic run out there you already know it's about to be some shenanigans he runs out there he unloosens the gate for someone to exit and he's visibly saying, Becky, come on, get out, right? Becky's looking confused and perplexed, like, what are you doing here? Then you have Finn Balor and um, J.D. McDonough come out there like, yo, what are you doing? Then you have Braun Strowman chasing them. So he's running around the ring as they're running. And in the process, Braun Strowman knocks over knocks over dominic who was by the door and dominic accidentally hits the door on the becky lynch and becky lynch ends up falling back into the ring as braun Strowman runs and chasing after jd and finn balor once that happened obviously Liv morgan took advantage of the situation and she crawls out and she wins the match dominic's looking confused like damn it i fucked up again and you once again they visibly made it so you could hear dominic say come on becky get out but before the show well as the show was about to end they're showing the trademark credits and stuff like that you see dominic on the rampway he he has this look of damn it i fucked up again and then you see Liv, and she's looking at him and fellas you know this look when a woman's giving you this look, be prepared. Cause she's about to lock lick uh she's about to uh lock um lips with you or lip lock with you. However you want to say it. The kiss is coming. So be prepared mentally. Most of us were not prepared mentally when it happens, and that's exactly what happened here. She creeped in close to Dominic and then she put a a, a big old kiss right on Dominic and 
he was just sitting, he just took it as most men would just do. Just, oh no, I'm being kissed by a very attractive woman that I'm not supposed to like, but what's happening? <laughs> and then after that, once she stopped kissing him, she's looking at him with this look of desire. And he's just like, yo, what the fuck just happened? And once again, this is so good because early in the show, Liv did say, my revenge tour is not over. Liv is doing exactly what she said she was going to do. She has won. She took out Rhea Ripley. She has won the championship, the Women's World Championship. She hasn't beaten Becky technically one-on-one, -on -one, but, you know, she's gotten the win over Becky twice now. On, on paper. And now. She's taking Dominic. Dominic's gonna turn. He's playing this role of. I don't know what's going on. I was trying to help out Becky. This is not. I'm, I'm not. I don't look at Liv like that. I'm so confused. But I'm telling you. When Rhea comes back. And when we get Rhea versus Liv. For that women's world championship. And it's gonna be a point in the match. Where Dominic has to choose who to help. He's choosing Liv Morgan. He's going to choose. He's going to switch. He's going to choose Liv Morgan. He's going to help Liv Morgan retain the championship. And it's going to give this man even more nuclear heat. It's going to make Rhea look even more like a baby face whenever she does come back. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. This was great. This was, this is, this is how you create anticipation for this live and Rhea match. I have, I don't even think I can ever remember a time I've been that anticipated to see live and Rhea really interact. They have done everything right by live. Once again, her promos are to be desired, but their character work has been the best in my personal opinion. Since I've seen her on the main roster, this works because Liv, she's coming off like she's this baby face, but she's really not. Deep down, she's not. She may be justified in what she does, but now it's it's to really destroy Rhea. And I love this. This is going to be great. Can't wait for Rhea to come back whenever she's medically cleared. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be fantastic. Fantastic. This is how you build up a potential match. Hopefully, maybe at SummerSlam. So, man, comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys jealous of Dominic right now? Just be honest. Does this give you even more reasons to hate this guy? To boo him because now he's had a chance to be close to Rhea, be up on Rhea, and now Liv is tonguing him down, and he's legit married. Like, Dom is living the American dream. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still on speed of YouTube, rest in the world. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See y'all next one. Peace.